Hello everybody, welcome to the Chronicles of Mystery, the Scorpio Ritual. This might be, uh... Hmm. It's different. I don't know. It's old. Well, that's gonna go, isn't it? Hmm. Wonder where you got that idea from, huh? Was it a reenactment? Oh, hello, Uncle. Uh, something wrong? Are you planning to visit Malta by any chance? <laughs> like right now? I'm working on a, a book. See, I it looked like you were working on, on some Zeds. What? The ruins we know so well hide something more. An underground temple. An underground temple? That means there's a temple underground. How is that possible? Uh... The entry would... Whoa, it's hidden by the knife. Why? They hid something remarkable Ooh. in there. They cut this it out. This will help you with... <laughs> oh, with your research? Really? Nobody believes in my theory. You should come here and take a look yourself. Okay. Oh, well, all right, I'll, I'll... I'll be there tomorrow. Looks like I'm going to have to fill in for you guys. Dun, dun, dun. Paris, November 3rd, 2008. Hmm. What do we got? We got a light. She's gone the wrong way. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Have a look out the window then. Oh my this goodness. Reminds me of something. I feel a shiver creeping up my spine. Okay, well, let's have a look at the. F have a look at the window. Have a look at this window. I don't know. This rain. Oh, investigate my. Computer. Oh, I have a ticket. My plane to Malta is about to take off. I need to hurry. A great discovery awaits me. A great discovery awaits me. That's an interesting way of saying it. Uh, we look at this. No. Question mark. It. Maybe right click with the question mark. Uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Let's look at the fireplace. Overwarm ourselves with the fire. Yes. Ah, I usually like to turn my back. Okay. Just your sides. Okay, how about this way? Ah, not, not, no. Okay. How about the map on the wall? Run! Yes. If I double click, will you run? Excellent. Materials to my archaeology book. Mm. Doesn't seem like I'll be finishing it anytime soon. Okay, what about this thing? This looks important. No? How about... Oh, is that a box or something? I don't think I'll be able to make it on time. You don't? How do we get out of here? An exit. I can't leave just now. Oh. I'm not fully prepared for my journey yet. You're not? What do you need? You've got your tickets. Passport. Oh, there's a, something here. A pen. We need a pen. Everybody needs a pen going away. No? Oh, wait a minute. What did I just hit? Ah, there's stuff up here that we can barely see. Main menu. Okay, save game, load game, options. What's that say? Oh, dialogue journal documents. Okay. Ooh, Mart, hello, boss. You alright? I feel a shiver Not creeping up my spine. Body's aching all the time. 
There's a bird cage. Empty cage. That won't overfeed my beloved canary. But it's empty. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I can make it in time. I see. Can we go now? I can't leave just now. I'm not fully prepared oh. for my journey yet. There's a bike. Silly me. Aha. I have my bag. Am I fully prepared now? I can't leave just no, now. No, I guess I'm not, I'm not fully prepared. Fully prepared. For my journey yet. Okay. What did we say her name was? LaRue? What was it? LaRue? Something LaRue? I wasn't paying attention. You were kind of coming in the door at that time. Let's get Ooh. Oh. A watch. Oh, Grandma's. I hate I the way it's called. I heard that my Grandma was an enfant terrible. Well, I have someone to refer to, just in case. Okay. Who my did? parents. Ethnographers. What is that? Life. Constant travels. Researching the vanishing cannibal tribes. How lovely. What my about uncle one? Olivier, undaunted explorer, my mentor, and a great authority. Okay, looks a bit scary. Mm, can we take anything? Can I take the locket? No. So there's only that, that, and that. I heard something. My desk. My chair. It's very dark. Can she not afford the electricity? Can we go now? I can't leave just now. Oh. I'm not fully really prepared for my journey yet. Do you need? What else do you need? You need your raincoat. Sylvie, think. Sylvie, think. Think, Sylvie. Throw the fireplace. You need a jacket, because uh, let's face it, you've got no sleeves, and your jumper shrunk, whatever it is, or tank top. It's uh, it's not even covering your shirt. And that's kind of bothering me. It's like I just really want to reach over there and you gotta pull it down. It doesn't fit. Run, run to the window. Look in the cage. Okay, I need, I need, I need help. There's three question marks coming up. I see that. That's clever. Who's the drawer? Okay. Aha! Oh, now we're talking. Well, I think you're gonna need that. That's my passport, right? Ah, right click it. The Rusilvi. Can we twist it? No. Okay, and then. Can we, ah, that's so cool. Sir Frank. My plane to Malta is about to take off. Yeah. I need to hurry. A well, great discovery awaits me. Don't forget your bank card and your lipstick. My old photo. It might come in handy. Might. Just in case you forget what you look like. All right. Wait a minute. What? Right click. Hey, she's kind of cute. My old photo. Yeah. It might come in handy. Um, no lipstick? No? Okay. I think now we can go. I better switch everything off before I leave. Oh, okay. Do I have to switch it all off? How do I switch everything off before I leave? The lights aren't even on. The computer's not on. This is this is the only light that's lit. But when I, when I go near it, it says window. Turn the light off. Turn the fire off. What else am I missing? Is that a switch? Let me do this. Oh, something there. Oh, and there's something down there. Oh. Oh. Secret things. Is that turning everything off? The fire's off. 
Can I go? I better switch everything off before I leave. Fire's off. Good woman. Excellent. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, look, we're flying. City Interactive. Oh, this is the start of the game. Presents. Chronicles of Mystery. The Scorpio Ritual. I don't know. This game's Uncle obviously is more than 10 years missing, old. And I can't see any message. Sorry, I wasn't even looking there. We got a key. Uncle's undeniably missing. Something key. It does this strange setup, and then it's cutting off the stuff. Go figure that one out. Ooh. Okay. Arabic gum. We would use it to put up funny advertisements. We would? That's cute. Oh, that's a picture. Ah, that's nice. Oh. oh okay. Oh. Oh. What else he got? Can I close it? I can. I can close it. Oh, there's something there. Okay, that's out. Let me see what we've got here. What is that? Something in a pencil? Ooh! Is that a flashlight? That's a nifty little flashlight. Cool. Yo, over here. That's not where I wanted you to go, but where you are there? Have a look at that. No. My uncle's apartment is like a museum. It is a bit. Hmm. Coffee table. But why is it all the way over there? His pipe. Uncle liked to light up his pipe after work. I smoke some tobacco and have coffee. Ooh. I got money. Ooh. Maltese money. Can you buy Maltese? No, sorry. Why am I taking my uncle's money? Let's get a read on things here. Ooh, something here. I remember there's a hiding place behind this panel. You do? I didn't remember that bit. How do we get in? Girl, what? Can you remember how to open it? Aha. That's what I thought. Do I have to... This won't work. That's not gonna work. Sylvie, think. Sylvie, think. Girlfriend. Sylvie, Sorry. think. I don't know why I'm saying that. Picture of him. No can do. No can do. That's not gonna work. No. We no need an do. alternative solution. Haha, <laughs> I like the way she said that. It's a solution, you see, in the bottle. <laughs> we need an alternative solution. I won't get it open that way. The compartment's blocked. It's blocked. How about my picture? Trial and error method, they say. Yep. You're good. Yo, yo, what about all my, all my stuff? My suitcase and, oh, my passport and my bank card. Hmm. Need something else. Selby, what can we do? What if I, can I use this and this and then put it on this? Sylvie, think. I'm perplexed. Let's try the 
What is it? The hallway? I might find something out there. Aha! Okay. Upstairs, the bedrooms. What's over here? It's very dark. Those fair ladies on the painting are my grandmas, great grandmas, and great aunts. Strong personalities, one and all. Okay. Double click. The pattern Ooh. on this vase seems mismatched. You want me to? Oh, I see. Oh. Oh. Open the hiding place. Excellent. You are good at this, Selfie. You are thinking. Run, Selfie. I have to pry this open with something. Uh, should we try the pencil? What is it? What's this? Something cartridge? Something? Oh, it went and bent. It went and bent. Shall we try it again then with a bit? This is too bent. slack. It's too slack. How about the key? Hmm, I've bent it slightly. I won't start my scooter with it now. Oh dear, I'm very sorry. Oh wow, you bent it slightly. You're one strong lady to bend a key for a scooter. Letter worthy of some attention. Hmm, well, let's have a look at it then. James! I dug my way through many volumes and found something incredibly interesting about those ciphers used by the Knights Hospitaller. This might help you in solving this mystery. I wanted to leave this piece of paper in your door, but I noticed someone follow me. I'm hardly a fearful fellow, but I think things are taking a turn for the worse. I will have to mail this message to you. Although I think that you will come knocking at my door even before you receive it. Just in case you should give me your mobile phone number. One more thing. If for one reason or another things become so complicated that I can no longer watch over my niece, please try to help her with her work. Please, take care of her. Thank you, Oliver Luru. So who's the, is there another page? Dear Sylvie, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. I hope you will finish writing your work soon, and I hope, so I also hope that my recent discovery will help you with that. For quite some time now, I've lived in a state of alternating anxiety and excitement. And do you remember? I wrote you once I was back working on Gozo. I uncovered an entrance to an underground temple bearing the crest of the Knights of Malta. See, you can never say that you have exhausted the exploration of any bit of land. The interior is magnificent. The main chamber is astoundingly huge. The vault is held up by beautiful pillars, and the walls are adorned by reliefs carved out in rock. It's an absolute gem, and wonderfully preserved to boot. You have to see it. I hope that one day you'll set up your own work stand here as well. Yet I soon discovered that this impossibly beautiful packaging held ba or held something far more... Intriguing. Imagine a hidden chamber containing a plinth and a tablet surrounded by four small sculptures and covered in signs of an unknown writing. 
I asked for the help of the linguist James Anderson and took him many nights of work in the attic. And I suffered right alongside because I kept popping in there, unable to sleep due to excitement. He managed to decipher a small fragment of the inscription. It mentions a source of unearthly power, which is reborn in cycles. Just a small fragment. But can you imagine? I decided it was time to release information about this discovery and invite specialists who could lead us, eh, lend us aid. This is when the trouble began. I conducted all my research here based on a gentleman's agreement, namely that there will always be time to take care of all formalities. Now, however, problems with bureaucrats suddenly appeared. It turned out we were missing who knows what kind of permits. In the end, the ministry took the site from me. I thought it must have been an envious colleague who wanted to lay his hands on our discovery. Later, I realized this was something else entirely. The discovery is now shrouded in absolute silence, and it is virtually impossible to gain access to the site. I have no other explanation but that some unknown patron, someone very, very influential, decided to take over this discovery. I'm letting you know all this just in case someone tries to tarnish my reputation in your eyes. These situations occur in any profession and are merely an unpleasant side to human activities. It does not in any way change the essence of this wonderful profession. The thought of you becoming its disciple glands my heart. Now, however, I think victory is near. I think I know how to use those stones, and I am headed for Gozo to check my hypotheses. I shall describe it more, it in more detail after I return. I have no time to write more. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. This note was not for me, but never mind. What? My uncle was clearly afraid of something. I need to find this Anderson guy. But you are, Sylvie. There was one for you and one for Anderson. James, of course. Ah, dear girl, what is this? <gasps> the Ordine Militate Sancti Ioan. Oh, that's very interesting. John the Baptist, what? Hmm, St. John the Baptist. That's the third occurrence of him now within the last week. This cannot be a coincidence just for me, just particularly. Hmm. The history of the Sovereign Military Hospitaller Order of St. John of Jerusalem of Rhodes and of Malta. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the year of our Lord, 1565, on the 19th day of the month of May. The very old month of May. That is on the fourth Saturday past Easter. I wonder if you went back and checked that, but that's right. The shores of our island of Malta saw the arrival of the fleet of Suleiman, the Magnificent, which spewed out 40,000 armed men and surrounded and cordoned off the island. It was the name Suleiman, who, 40 years prior, was so overcome with admiration for the bravery of the Knights Hospitaller, uh, uh, who defended the islands of Rhodes, that he... What is he? And he allowed them to evacuate fully armed and burying their wounded. Several years later, Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, gave the order the island of Malta, Gozo, and smaller surrounding islands, as well as Tripoli in fiefdom, demanding solely a single Maltese falcon. Ah, mm, I like that so. Yes. <laughs> to be given to him each year. May the memory of this generous gesture never die among the knights of the order on that Saturday of the 19th of May, the year of our Lord, 1565. So was I among those brothers and knights who looked down from the fort Saint Angelo in Dirgu. Sorry, I'm buttering these. And perceive the infidels swarming around the port, pouring out from the bay like a river of darkness and crawling up to the Fort St. Elmer. My heart was filled with dread, but knowing of both glory and defeat, long past I trusted our order to be victorious once more. Time proved my trust not to be in vain, for under the command of Grand Master Jean Le Valet, and with the helping hand of God, we saw the day when Mustafa, what? Mustafa, the Nidalein King, a uh, Pasha, ordered his army to withdraw, and the galleys disappeared behind the horizon. It was the 18th, the 8th, I beg your pardon, I say 18th, it was the 8th of September, year of our Lord, 1565. Here I shall briefly introduce the matters touched upon in this volume, which I shall later further develop, in Jerusalem, where the angel from heaven heralded the birth of St. John the Baptist, where in the walls of the Santa Maria Abbey, Brother Jared, the humblest man of the eastern lands, founded a hospital for pilgrims in need. And many years later, the Sultan once again denied pilgrims entry into the Holy Land, and the Turks and the Arabs seized from Christian hands the territories in Asia Minor belonging to Constantinople. Pope Urban II, led by the shining light of God's mercy, crossed the mountain into Gaul, and in the city of Clermont, in the year of our Lord, 
1095. Lord Fulbright held a council where he called all God's children of all estates of the realm to banish forth from the Christian lands all foul infidels. Thus it came about this magnificent day of the 15th of July in the year of our Lord, 1099, when the Crusaders captured Jerusalem and purified the holy places by drenching them in the infidels' blood. Blessed Jared worked tirelessly to bring aid and relief to the pilgrims. The donations made by the mighty of this world allowed him to establish hospitals, not only in the Holy Land, but also in ports and along the pilgrims' routes. In recognition of these services, Pope Paschal II issued the bull P. Postulatio Vol Voluntatis, which was announced in the year of our Lord, 1113, and recognized the separate hospital. Oh, this, this is long, a lot of um, history here, and all of it may not be exactly right. The separate hospital, uh, Order of St. John Jerusalem, due to the demands of these troubled times, Grand Master Raymond de Pew decided that the brothers should take up arms in the protection of both the pilgrims as well as the order itself. Its hospitals and the holy city, the Knights Hospitaler, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, stood bravely at the Battle of Cresson near Nazareth and, and at the Battle of Hakim on St. Martin's Day in the year of our Lord, 1187, where many laid down their lives in the ignominious defeat at the hands of the magnificent warrior Sultan Saladin. The Knights of the Order joined Richard the Lionheart in the year of our Lord, 1191, and won the warrior at the Battle of Arsuf, where at the left flank they bravely repelled the Saracen ca cavalry, and then charged obliterating the infidels. Years passed, princes and lords grew idle and quarrelsome, the infidels recaptured castle after castle and laid waste to one Christian fiefdom. Is it fiefdom or fiefdom? I don't know. It's a word I'm not familiar with. Afterward, the last stronghold of the order in the Holy Land was Acre in the year of our Lord 1291. Al Ashraf moved to attack the city. Siege lasted for a month, and in the last hour of the brave defiance, there stood arm by arm Knights Templar and Knights Hospitaller. Heavily wounded Grand Master Jean de Villiers uh, was evacuated along with a handful of the defenders on the order's ships to Limassol on Cyprus. Uh, after these defeats, the Knights Hospitaller took into possession the island of Rhodes with the blessing of both the Pope and the Byzantine Emperor. The Knights Hospitaller cha cha changed, changed courses for ships and soon became known as unparalleled sailors, a force to be reckoned with in the eastern part of the Mediterranean. The order became a thorn in the side of the Sultans, who, having conquered Constantinople, began to widen their influence on the Aegean Sea. In the year of our Lord 1480, they launched a furtive attack on the island of Rhodes. It was only in the year of our Lord 1523 broke the resistance of Rhodes after a half-year siege, which I already mentioned above. After this defeat, there came the Exodus, which ended on Malta where the order once again assumed its role as the defensive shield of Christian faith. In later chapters, the book was written in unknown writing. Oh, wow. Ooh, flashback. What are these paintings? That was a quick one. I've seen that before, in a dream. In a dream. What paintings? There are paintings? I'm not allowed to bring the book with me. Okay. A most valuable volume. The uncle had a soft spot for old manuscripts. So I can't. I really can't take it. Got a little hand with volume. it. Yeah. The uncle had a soft spot for old manuscripts. Hmm. Now what, young lady? Upstairs, perhaps. What else was here? Downstairs where we are, the doors. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> 